Okay, so we are good. We're live, ready to go. Mm -hmm. All right, I know I got the email out to three of you from Terry. Have you guys had a chance to look at that yet? Yes. Just today, because I got it today, so. Yeah. I have it, no. Okay, well, hopefully we can go over it a little bit. She gives us some uh, real guidance on uh, what things should look like. Lane, I don't know if you could pull that up and put it on the screen for us. Yeah, and I'll just tell you the truth. I would just um, adding most of those things were already in. She gives some key terms to consider. Okay, I'm um, putting screen share on for you, Lane. Okay, dope. All right. Good work, by the way. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, for sure. And I like it that it's, it's really the story which is, I think, how probably people in the app respond best, more so than just um, cold facts. Okay, so let me see if I can make this a bit bigger. So the first thing that Terry suggests, which is exactly how I was gonna start the conversation, which is we really want them to know why we're there before we get there. Um, and if we send this to them a week ahead of time, then I think that's the only possible way we actually cover what we have in the 20 minutes. So in, in my mind, it's more of a, we're, we're gonna tell you ahead of time. So when we arrive, we are, um, you know, instead of having to, to, to go over every slide or actually uh, every point we're actually asking or, or getting some clarification or answering questions about it. Does everybody think that's viable to get it done? It, that would be the 10th of March. Yeah, I would think so. Okay. My perspective is yes, Lane, big part of that because of you and your organizational and typing skills and making this all come together so seamlessly in my mind. And of course, Mary, your input, just pushing everything forward. I, I think we can do it. Uh, to tell you the truth, I'm almost at the stage of, you know, what we don't know now, we're really not gonna know that much more in three weeks. You know what I mean? It's not as if we have, I feel as if there's a lot of things we can't answer anyway. Right. And you'll so, notice there's next sentence there, I believe it. She mentions the fact that, uh, uh, where is it there? About the, how can, how can you help us yeah. move forward? Yeah. That's asking them how we can move forward. So yeah. as she says, we're beginning just to paint a picture to them, really trying to use some of these keywords and then uh, bring in these statistics, hopefully that we can compile uh, you know, more before that. I think we can, that, a lot of that's yeah. available ready. So and yeah. we've done a lot, just yeah. putting it in there, but you know, this, this asking them, how, what can we do to make this happen? How can, you know, you help us to help you? What can we do? And she says that is really goes a long ways nowadays, really looking for cooperation. So. Yeah. And, and I mean, I think we believe this is viable but we don't know how to confirm that or know, do we need know what to do next? Yeah, I can't see Terry's now I'm getting. Oh, um, okay, let me get back to, here you go. So she said, uh, this is my whole point to, 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 it's not just how can you help us move forward, but we're here, this is like our sanity check. Is this viable? If it is uh -huh. possible, then well, what do we do next? Yeah. I love it. That's a great way of approaching it. Um, I copy and pasted these things into the PowerPoint. Um, I think the only ones not explicitly mentioned right now yet were um, Scott hadn't put in a placeholder yet for that economic recovery okay. that you mentioned before. Um, and public service. I'm not sure what what we mean by public service. Well, I think what Gary's referring to is everything's based upon the general good. How many people it reaches, how many people will be able to use this. 
how is this providing a service to the public? Well, oh, okay. So the community many ways already. Okay. So tying in, so if, if we've tied in the community benefit, I guess we just want to use the words public service in here somewhere. <laughs> I'm not, it's just not something, it's not a phrase that would have come to my mind. Mm -hmm. And then the doc, the doc will provide a great public service. The doc will provide a great public. Uh, I see. Uh, you know, I those think. types of phrases. Okay. Yeah, and how how it could be very helpful, like during during a, an emergency ferry outage, how that it can right. get people back and forth, um, even when when the county cannot cannot get people back and forth it would uh, allow for us to get ourselves back and forth um also a public service to non islanders right? i'm sorry what was that dave i said i think it's also a, a public service to non islanders let's say you're a boater thank you dave you're mm -hmm. coming out exactly and you know it's kicking up heavy and you need a place you need a safe harbor i see i see okay I think we should, you know, continue to emphasize that because otherwise there's nothing, <laughs> right? Uh, maybe there's scenic estates in a pinch if it's that appropriate time of year. But, mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so then the, the numbers and the demographics and such, um, I think we... Uh, some of these we can get at. Interesting, she says, we got some interesting numbers, average age. Some of this is from the um, um, census, mm -hmm. but I, I don't, I, I don't know how to answer some of these. So we'll, we'll, we'll come back because right now we've just said a large fluctuation in seasonal population. Does anybody mm -hmm. know? How many people we really have on a weekend uh, during the summer? No, but I think um, the uh, ferry information will go a long ways towards providing a, a numbers picture for that. When we look at that swell during the summer, okay, it's not a total, obviously, but it's I mean it's definitely indicative of the okay swelling of numbers. Okay, okay, um, cool. I like the next sentence. <laughs> yeah. I didn't mean to read ahead. But <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then uh, painting a picture. Um, uh, yeah, this is a very interesting point about uh, our voter participation is off the chart. We, we should, probably should put that in there somewhere subtly and you want, don't want to be, you know, um, mm -hmm. but we'll, we'll find a place to put that because it, I, I was astonished at the uh, voter participation on the island. And Terry mentioned uh, that, and I remember the years when Ferndale School District was talking about shutting down beach school and she oh, was mm -hmm. able to pull up the numbers uh, of uh, voters and the tax amounts that Lummi Islanders are paying uh, in a ratio compared to the rest of the county. And we're far above the rest of the county in the ratio of how many how much taxes supports uh, the schools. We pay in a, a higher percentage as Lummi Islanders than the rest of the county. I don't know where she got those numbers, but she was able to demonstrate to the Ferndale School District that you don't wanna shut down beach school because of the support that you have from Lummi Islanders. It's, it's Interesting. quite a large pool. Interesting. I don't know if that's because of the, the, the <clears throat> value of land out here in homes is high and thus brings in a higher percentage or what, but it was significant oh. enough that the school district said, yeah, we're not shutting down beach school. <laughs> huh, okay. That's interesting. Um, And I think beach school students, it's also, you know, currently if the ferry goes out on a school day uh -huh. and our, our children cannot get back home <laughs> or cannot get to school. Yeah. And if the county can't provide 
transportation, then, you know, kids that are fifth grade and up are stuck on the other side. And some of the little kids that live on the mainland can't get home. Mm -mm. So I think that's, that's an important thing to realize that even for a short shutdown, if it happens that, you know, during the time it would be the time the kids would be commuting, that all that we have would be like parents or volunteers going over to pick up those kids. Okay. Uh, I'm just popping over to the PowerPoint right now because I um, had been trying to uh, sort of juggle the, the, here was the realities of island life that went over the, uh, you know, the outage. Um, details are in the notes for the outages. But I was thinking and trying to pare down the discussion of instead of having a separate slide for the um, fairy numbers was to have it on the notes page. But I'm wondering now, so it would look something like this. So here's the numbers. And I changed it. Did I tell you guys, I think last week that the numbers, the, um, the vehicles that does not include the driver. So this was passengers. Mm. However, what I did is since this is one way only, I, I, I said, well, what about a per hour outage? So these are the numbers for an average per hour outage during those periods. Mm. Um, so we can either think about, you know, putting that the point about the students, you know, leave it like this and put it um, here. I, I don't have students anywhere <laughs> here. Well, I hadn't thought about school. The other thing is, is that the students are not even counted in the travel um, oh. statistics from the county because the kids, um, are able to travel for free. Mm. So they are not even counted um, from the ferry passenger count because they, um, until they're 18, um, mm. while they're 18, they can travel for free. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, okay. Um, uh Okay, well, let's think about this. I'm, I'm, um, we, we talked about using the survey information to, to express the impact of, of outage, outages. So let's come back and think about that. And now we at least have, you know, a placeholder for uh, students. Um, we could probably figure out how many go back and forth every day? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know the lady that kind of keeps track of that stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do. Yeah, let's... Um... Well, that's the beach school students, but then there are kids that go to high school and junior high, on, and they're, they're taking the bus, but you, they could probably get the bus figures, and then there's some of those kids drive on their own. Mm. Okay. Okay, so and their vehicles would count, but their bodies would not show up. So that's an interesting point. We were talking about how do you have a vehicle count which wouldn't have, uh, include a driver. In this case, that that'd be an example, wouldn't it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, it's always something with you folks. <laughs> <laughs> just when I think I have something figured out. Okay, so let's let's just think about that. Put a sort of some placeholders here. I. Um, I also, by the way, have a big uh, reminder at the back here to make sure we invite these folks to come out and visit the island. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we want to host an, a specific time for them to come. Um, Do it a day when the ferry breaks down. <laughs> <laughs> I talked with Terry about, 
hey, should, should I give Richie a call and say, hey, make sure you have a shutdown for a few hours here? <laughs> uh, so let's think about that. But, you know, I didn't, I didn't think uh, about here because we just know that it's a five-minute trip. But um, uh, we might put a note to the effect of it may only be five minutes, but the disruption is, it, it can go on for you know, for a five minute trip, if, there's, if this five minute trip is not available, then, then we're like, um, uh, what's a theme song to, to um, Gillian's Island? Three hour wait, you know, for mm -hmm. a five minute tour. Well, and I think we ought to keep it as open as possible that their convenience when they can come out. I mean, I would yeah. drop everything to give them a tour to make it easy on them. Yeah, so, yeah. I'm sure others of us would be willing to jump in anytime. So if we could just do an open end, anytime that you're willing to come over, yeah, we will take care of it. Come, yeah. come on over. We'd love to show you what island life is like. Yeah. So um, I just want to make sure that we we got that in there and had a um, very warm uh, invitation. Okay. So I'm sorry. I was we're, so we're jumping around a little bit, but I wanted to to kind of put those thoughts in your minds for a, a measuring impact and making sure that we get the um, island. So the island picture drawn for them. And, and, and in fact, may end up just putting uh, that slide back in just because it is very much, you know, that's our lives. Yeah, and maybe what we need to do is we need to get the exact census quote from the 2020 census of the full of the full time I, islanders. Uh, I did. Yes, I did actually have. I do have that. Um, mm -hmm. I see. It's not. It's just the assumption that they're. It's right here. But um, okay. So uh, expand on island statistics, either here or on this other um, uh, in, impact, it's how many. Yeah, and it might be good to say, um, uh, I don't know, just, uh, I don't know how to do the data for the number of commercial vessel uh, folks coming over. Uh-huh. Maybe we could just do a, a walk the line on the gooseberry side early in the morning for a couple hours and just ask people if they are um, coming over for work as a contractor. Um, just and maybe just say we we did a we did a real quick count of on on this on this particular day. Uh, number of, of people that are coming over to work um that might be a good thing to do just uh yeah yeah and, i think um uh i think that's a good idea and maybe like do it like from i don't know just maybe like i don't know like from 7 a.m to 5 p.m. one day or something. I guess I guess not that many are coming over late. No, but. I would say if you did something like the seven to ten, um, uh, you would capture. It seems to me. I mean, there is a lunch lunch crowd, but it seems like as mm -hmm. we walk, people will tend to try to come over in the morning. Because mm -hmm. you'll see the big um, the the lunch. You'll suddenly see a whole bunch of people leaving as if, hey, my morning is done. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, Okay. Okay, so let's see what else. Um, In terms of this tax comment she made, um, did we talk about, do we have a slide that, I know we didn't do it for the public meeting, but do we want to have a slide in here about potential funding sources, at least the little bit that we've dug into? And, and that would be a good opening, I think, to ask them about 
their experience with these grants. Uh, right. So what when I, I added to the questions we asked, I asked, um, I added the section about management of the dock, which would have to do with the safety, the mm -hmm. pedestrian safety, the parking, the question about how to get the dock out of the water and that kind of thing. And mm -hmm. then sources of funding as well as the partnerships. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do some research and I think we'll, um, I also have a very explicit statement that says we have no idea how much this would cost. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Zero idea. Mm -hmm. So to tell you the truth, I think in the end, one of the questions might be, can you get funding to just at least get some kind of estimate, mm -hmm. you know, plan something so that you even know whether you go forward? I believe some of those grants we looked into do cover uh, planning, design, concept. Well, yeah, some of them said planning, but I couldn't yeah. tell where in the in the process they mean because we're almost like pre-planning. Yeah, you know what I mean. And yeah. Terry reemphasized with me again: all of that is in-house stuff they do. Okay. So if we could work in, tell us how we could help you. You know, get funding. How? What can we do to participate? We're willing. Let us know. You know. But they have in-house people that do all that kind of stuff that are very familiar. Yeah, I expected they did. Uh, I'm just wondering if we want to show a little more detail to show we've been a little bit proactive on that, even though it's... Yeah, it sure doesn't hurt. Yeah. Uh, okay. We, 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 <laughs> we've done enough digging to know that there is money out there. We just need to know how to get it and what they need us to do. What, what, how, where does ours fit in the great, you know, is it multiple, it could very well be multiple grants. Yeah. But I think some of the partnerships also with some of these organizations um, will, will be a part of that puzzle too. Right. Uh, this is an interesting point. Um, I was talking to uh, uh, Janice, uh, Janice and David, uh, David Thorne, and, uh, and, and she made a point about, uh, possible funding from Port of Bellingham. Uh, hmm. I don't know what the opportunities there are, but her comment was she's aware that the Port of Skagit County invests a lot in projects throughout the county, not just, you know, on the waterfront kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And that the Port of Bellingham does nothing. <laughs> uh, oh. I don't know the details there, but uh, uh, I do know from my son-in-law who worked at the airport that the airport is a losing proposition right now. Oh, that sure. Port has to support that facility and it soaks up a lot of money. Um, so <laughs> I don't know how to delve into that topic, but it might be a question we put to Parks and Rec and say, are there opportunities there? Uh, not to get to that point she made about, you know, I pay taxes, so yeah. we deserve this, but. Uh, I think, though, that there is a large waterfront redevelopment yeah, project it, it, um, it, it, on the old, uh, yeah. oh, the, the, the mill property. property. Yeah. 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 And she mentioned that, that, I think, is... I do not know for sure, but I, I believe that is being funded um, through the Port of Bellingham. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you're right there. I think Janice mentioned that one, but uh, it just- that's a huge project and that's been, that's been in the works since they closed the, the GP facility. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so maybe that's sucking up the bulk of their funds. I don't know, but- uh, it just but, sounds yeah, like but a big, big difference between our neighboring county and what Whatcom County is doing there in terms of the port. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't have any specifics, but maybe we could also dig into that. Uh, yeah, that would be something to investigate. Yeah. Um, and I guess you'd have to like probably read through some port commission. Yeah. <laughs> meeting materials and just see what's been what's been on their hot sheet yeah yeah i don't know or maybe we could 
you know, somebody could talk to one of the port commissioners mm. um, and just give them a call as a citizen and just ask like what, you know, what, what they have been funding and is yeah. this something that the port could even consider? Yeah, right. I know That's Terry more reminded me again on. that in one of her emails there, there is a uh, statewide initiative for waterfront stuff and Whatcom County has kind of been ignored on the whole aspect of it. And oh, there's really? funds available for that waterfront initiative. And I'm, I'm trying to find it it's, right now. Not, it's that historical waterfront or historical working waterfront or something like that. Is it this, yeah, I, the, is it this, um, the one that's also national, it's a national water. It's not this one, hang on, I got a, in terms of the Maritime Washington, the national maybe. working area, is that it or? Hmm. Doesn't sound like it because this didn't. This is a sounds like something we should be hooked up with, but I I don't think they provide money. I think they well I can't tell, but they certainly seem to be. Um, says they build partnerships, increase collaboration to support our coastal communities in celebrating, maintaining, and sharing their water-based stories. Hmm. So this I think is part of the cultural heritage that has come mm -hmm. up. Um, but I haven't yet found, uh, they had a bunch of anchor, anchor uh, organizations, um, some of which I thought might be candidates for us working with. So when we get to that, we can maybe look at that website. I don't, um, I, I did not get from, remember Terry said she had someone from tourism she was gonna hook us up with. And I don't know if we got those details because I'm guessing that they would know. But if there's a separate initiative, let me just write this down here. Do you think there's a waterfront development initiative? I, I don't remember, right? I, this sounds like what she was talking about. And somehow she said that that, that could possibly play a role. In this okay. Thing. What that exactly looks like, I don't know at this time. That's why I brought it up. It's like, no. Okay, so I'll put a-, I'll put a Maybe this is something that we'll find out about ourselves, you know, we, when we ask mm -hmm. them. Well, what? what do we need to know? Mm -hmm. right. right. I mean, who, because it appears that we are on, already on, I don't know, a map at least for the um, uh, the kayak campsite, <laughs> interestingly enough, <laughs> um, Aston reef net sites are apparently already part of this heritage area. So mm -hmm. there's two in Lummi that are already designated. But yeah, I don't know the, what that means for us. If we can leverage that or. Well, yeah, Department of Natural Resources has had a, a kayak. Uh, it's part of the uh, water water trails or something yes. like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh-huh. Um, Washington water trails. Right. Um, and yeah, that there that's campsite that that DNR site's been there for as long as I've been here, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's been a long time. Uh, but but the notion of having it tied in somehow was what I was trying to figure out. How do you hmm. get, and sort of going back to the, the beach store and tying it in with the dock. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Whether that... Um, would help or at least be something we should be in discussion with. Okay. Let's see any other notes here? So uh, we're painting a picture of Lummi Island. Um, <laughs> act, oh, active voters. So let me just put in here about something about active voters. <laughs> <laughs> Again, not to not in a threatening way, but in a yeah, no, just uh, we have one of the highest percentages of active voters in the county. You know, and I I would not put in especially the Democrats. I would leave that <laughs> out. No, thank you. Um, Uh, 
Who's the highest percentage of active voters in the county? Yeah. Maybe percentage per capita, or I don't know. I don't know how you would say that. I've <laughs> seen it before. Um, I don't um, know the right word. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, For our population, I guess that's, yeah. Yeah, per capita. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think we need to paint a pretty. I think we need to paint in the presentation um, when, when you're talking about what life is on Lummi, um, maybe like a pro about how many people commute, mm. um, you know, just the, this, like, and we could probably get that from the county, like a breakdown of by run like you know that the ferry is very busy in the mornings um because a lot of people do you know live on the island and still are working and go over to the mainland for work or to take their kids to school or to go the, to school themselves um uh it would be good to have some statistics about like uh, like I guess some of the businesses that like maybe the propane companies maybe contact propane companies and find out approximately how many customers they have on the island. I don't know. Hmm. Um, because that's a that's a mainland business uh, budget septic. Yeah, some of the the septic companies that are doing those sorts of things. Mm -hmm. uh, there's the plumbing um, Highlander well uh, used to do a lot of business on the island. Um, oh, Culligan's, yeah, Culligan, oh, the water. water, yeah, let's just do a real quick brainstorm. So, Northwest Propane, Vandriot Propane, what was, uh, that, what was, that, what was that one called? There's Vandriot, Northwest, DHS. CH CHS? Yeah. Okay. Oh, Anybody saying? else? I don't do propane, so I don't I I I've just seen propane the, uh, ink. Propane ink. <laughs> okay. Yeah. She's it'd probably be easy to stand at the dock uh at 1130 on Tuesday and say how many houses did you go to? <laughs> yeah, that would be a that would be a real good thing to do. Like how many how many houses are you going to service today? Is this typical? I'm just kind of, I don't know. We might need to do some standing out in line and talking to people. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. I don't mind doing some of that. I don't want to do it all by myself, but mm -hmm. I think that could be a, a beneficial thing. Uh, don't forget SSC, the trash, they service everybody. Oh, SSC. Oh, yeah, yeah, that would be great. Schwann's, Schwann's comes to. Schwann's. Know, what do they bring? They bring frozen dinners. <laughs> Heston Hauling, tow oh, yeah. truck company. The tow <laughs> company, yeah. Is this haul? Did you say hauling? Yeah, Heston Hauling. Heston, yeah. Hauling? Um, actually, you know, you could ask a FedEx, FedEx truck. Yeah. Oh, um, and also uh, Hans, uh, the UPS guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Not to mention PSE. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Just sound yeah. energy. Everybody. Yeah. I assume it's everybody. Most everybody. Whatcom County property tax surveyor. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> They're going to want to get here. <laughs> Building inspector. <laughs> labor and industries for electrical inspector. Plumbing yep. inspector. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. And the various amount of large quantity of Whatcom County pickup trucks and other type of rigs doing whatever out here. I have no idea, but I've mm -hmm. seen them out here all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um the um uh, the uh internet utility companies oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. ozone ozone yep there are the others uh yeah uh the well, the beverage distributors that come over and and do the beer and wine at the islander i think hmm. I, I think they still have deliveries uh Well, I mean, you could we could ask the guide Islander how many, how many, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. yeah, trucks come in to, to to deliver to the store. I yeah. know they go over and pick up a lot of their stuff, but I think they do have deliveries that come to the island too. Uh huh. There's also all the landscapers, folks that do ILA air. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I agree. I think it'd be really good to go out for a, a couple of different mornings and get some of these um, service people because, uh, I mean, and even if we just start watching on the ferry and writing down, we see who we're riding the ferry with. Mm hmm. Because um, I see them all the time, but then if you'd ask me, I'd be like, totally, all I can remember is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, of course, propane. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, yeah, no, but I think if, you know, I think if we just walked up and, you know, we put on like a little reflective vest or something yeah, and yeah. just walked up and had a, had a clipboard and just said, hi, we're taking an informal survey for the island. Um, and, you know, how often do you come to the island? Um, approximately. Yeah, how many? You know, roughly how many? Yeah, and, and, and about how many clients are you going to be serving today? Or, you know, about how many, you know, I, I think that could just be just really, I don't think that would be too awful. Um, and, and I think then the question, have you ever been caught in an outage? And if yes, mm -hmm. please inform to fill out the survey. Mm hmm. OK, um, this segues nicely into our survey of Islanders. And also I was working a little bit on our survey of island businesses, but it would also, you know, conversely, island uh, survey of mainland businesses who come over. OK. Yeah, but I, I think what we need to do is I. We need to like somehow be able to paint a picture of what it's like, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis. Like, you know, if you live on the island, you don't just say, okay, well, I've got a, I, I have an appointment or I have to be at work at eight o'clock. So you hop in your car and it's a <laughs> it's 20 minute drive. You have to think, okay, well, there's this ferry and then there's this ferry. I'm going to try to catch the ferry before just to be sure that I'm there early. But if I catch this one, then my drive's a lot faster. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. and if I miss the ferry, then what happens? So it, it, you know, you have to do think ahead and stuff like that. Um, yeah, but you know, I, I'm I'm also just realizing uh, I definitely want. Uh, I think we should all in the next couple of weeks write down when you see a truck on the island, mm. write down where it's from. I think I, I think we'd be surprised how many. Mm -hmm. I don't think we usually think about it. Uh, Bruce and I have to think about it because now we realize we shouldn't try to get on the. Um, it's basically the, the right after noon because it appears that a whole bunch of workers get done on one of their mm -hmm. projects and they get on the ferry and we've stuck, been stuck at least twice missing yeah. to wait for the next ferry because they were 
uh, backdrop. And they were all pickups. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. car bike in line. And they're looking at us like, don't you realize that this is a band? <laughs> <laughs> so um, I think that would be a good idea. Okay. So this, and all we've done, by the way, so far tonight is proved why we need to get this to them a week ahead of time, because there's no possible way in 20 minutes, you suddenly just, you know, drinking from the fire hose, trying to convey to them all of these yeah. realities. Um, and I also think this, this is like the reality of what, of what happens. Okay, this is like what a day looks like at the ferry. This is what happens when the ferry misses a run. This is what mm -hmm. happens when the ferry misses two runs. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, <laughs> and, and, and I don't know, I think, I, I think it's important to, for them to really understand that there is a, a it, it's a cascading kind of thing and, you know, so, okay, so the ferry, you missed the ferry this day. Wow, you know, and oh, that's okay, you were at home, but um, maybe you're a diabetic and you had insulin that was coming that day. Mm -hmm. um, maybe, you know, you have, um, are dependent on something that's coming in the mail and uh, now the ferry's out and they're not gonna just walk on for three days, so your 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 package has been delayed. Um, you know that stuff happens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think um, we when extract from the survey, I think we'll probably want to sit down and just go through all of those and and pull them together in one place for the realities of an outage, impact of an mm -hmm. outage. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so any other questions that we've covered, Terry's will Let's see education, economic recovery. I think it might be interesting. I don't know. The only I think that it the two sites that we really have economically on the island would be the Willows and the Beach Store. Um, that got hit pretty hard during COVID. Um, I would include in the artist tour and such. And the artist tours got, yeah, they all got canceled. And so they had, yeah, that's really good, Chris. Yes. Is, is that is that what we're talking about for economic recovery? Is that, you think this is based on COVID? Well, I think that, you know, we got hit pretty hard uh -huh. with COVID um, because we've had no artist tours. We had... The, the Willows Inn had to cancel all their reservations for months. Yeah. I know they're not the most popular place in the world, but, you know, they're it's still a business and, and they employ a lot of people. Um, the, the schools were closed, so the para-eds weren't working. You know, so there's... But how does this benefit from a dog, right? Right. But I don't know that there's a- Well, when, when we had the ferry outage, when we had the ferry outage in, on, a, on a Saturday in the, in the summer, um, or when we had the one that was even in October, um, the, uh, like the Willows had to charter a, a boat to come over to get people that had reservations and they've made reservations, you know, months in advance. And so it, it, it costs them more money because mm -hmm. they have to, they have to get their, their clients there. Yeah. That's a good connection. Yeah. So, 
you know, and, and so they, and I, I, I know that the Willows is a hot potato bombshell, but it, I, it's a business too. <laughs> they wouldn't be a parks and recreation. They, they wouldn't care one way or the other, right? I assume. The Willows Inn wouldn't care about parks no. and recreation? No, parks and recreation. I mean, we're talking to the commissioners right now with this presentation. Mm -hmm. So surely they don't have any personal vendetta against Willows, right? Yeah, well, I don't know that the the bad PR went out pretty pretty oh, far and wide. Yeah, the point is, do they pay their, do they pay their taxes? Okay. I imagine they do. That's all we care about. <laughs> I, I would think if it's a business, they would. That's right. So that's all we care about. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, well, they, they likely took some PPP money, right? Which would have been perhaps less necessary had. They had hmm. suffered additionally because of lost revenue from vacationers and or um, people affected by not being able to get here. Right. Yeah, and 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 a lot of people that own vacation rentals, some of them were doing booming businesses, but early in the pandemic, things just yeah. when everything shut down, it's shut down. Okay, so I'm still a little, I just am trying to make sure. So this is the benefits for economic recovery. So when she says economic recovery, do you think she's talking explicitly about COVID and we should focus on COVID? Or are we talking about, uh, I don't know, general, I, I don't know what economic recovery, what, what she's referring to. Yeah, well, I I'm sure that's a big part of it. I mean, that's the major. Okay. Yeah, thing that's happened over the last couple of years. So let's. Okay. I think the economic recovery is referring to how we're recovering from the recession. Mm. Yeah, so not just specific COVID, right? COVID was a big part of the recession, but yeah. not not specifically that. I mean, the economy has been in yeah. a recession. Yeah. Um, now, how are we going to help? with this stock to bring it out or does it help right <laughs> yeah i think it does i mean it, it provides benefits you know to both the community and the public at large um access to the to the salish sea um mm -hmm. so there's there's tourism there's uh fishing benefits uh yeah mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say the Willows Inn, vacation rentals. Uh -huh. Local artists. Yeah, yeah, artists and and uh, access yeah. to uh, to the to the Puget Sound. <laughs> Even the fishing crews that come over for the reef net fishery. Mm -hmm. Because there's a lot of non-islanders that come over yeah. for that fishery. <clears throat> Might as well list all the businesses, the beach store, the islander. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Since closed, yeah. Reopening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's recovering. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um yeah. <clears throat> and the islander did take a big hit during the pandemic too. Mm -hmm. Cause they because the the visitors during that first summer, it's it seemed to us that lived here that there were a lot of people coming, but it wasn't nearly as many as usual. <laughs> uh huh. And Nick, did um, building trades people on the island were kind of unable to work too? I didn't experience that. You didn't? Okay. No. You were busy as ever because people were just trying going crazy and doing all kinds of remodeling because they were stuck at home. Exactly. Yeah. I, the busiest store in town was uh, hardware sales and Home Depot. Mm -hmm. uh, you go in those stores and it, it didn't look like a, a, a lockdown scenario or a recession was taking place. It looked like a madhouse. Because they mm -hmm. were considered essential. Mm. 
Yeah. So that was the saving grace. Yeah. You're right. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Well, let's see. Well, well, so we segue into, I think we'll, we'll some of these things I think would require more um, per, uh, percolation time. Do we want to go ahead and get on to the two high priorities on our action list, which I um, remember we talked last week, I had um, uh, action lists that I've been whittling away at, uh, but some of the biggest ones were getting the input, the island-wide mail survey, and then a business survey. Mm -hmm. So you guys want to go ahead and talk about those two so we get those two while we still have energy and then it's about <laughs> 720. Yeah. yeah. We'll do those. Is that okay? Yeah. yeah. That worked I think that's great. Thanks for keeping us on track, Lane. Yeah. There's a lot we need to talk about, but sometimes I realize we, we probably won't be able to make a decision about some of these things tonight. So we'll, let's just let them do sort of uh, give them a little more time to percolate. Um, and right before I go and pull up your document, Nick, this was the, the site for this Washington, this marine preservation. And these are all their, um, their participant, what they call anchor organizations. Isn't that great? anchor organizations, uh, which include, and I'll just scroll on down to ones I think are um, closer to us, and they would include um, not Everett, that wouldn't be close, Kingston, there's a lot. Um, Olympia, Northwest Straits Foundation is in Bellingham. Mm -hmm. is it? Okay. Um, <clears throat> the um, what I was looking for down here, we have Puget. No, 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 no. Uh, here's the Recreation Boating Association that um, mm -hmm. given us links to, mm -hmm. um, and the Salish Sea Sciences over here, San Juan Islands, about the education and such. And uh, there's Skagit. Mm -hmm. Um, this tourism alliance. So I'm hoping that there are some along here, maybe who would have some kind of suggestions, or at least maybe have uh, sites we could look at to, to describe benefits and, and give us some other ideas for how to pitch pitch this. Okay, so back to the island. So here. Could you send that link out, Lane? Did I send? Can you send that out? That'd be interesting to read up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or maybe it's in here. Uh, it's it's in the presentation. Um, and it's also, I think, in, in this. But it's not in the, um, I'll, I'll put it in the meeting minutes, though, um, to. Um, Is the presentation somewhere we can access, or? Um, I can probably, I, can, I haven't added anything to Google Docs in a very long time. So, yeah. uh, but, but obviously people know how to do it because Nick, you just did it. So I could um, uh, just add it here, but then does that mean I have to work on, or I just have to update it when I make changes? I'm concerned about drift on um, version control days. Yeah, yeah, no, I understand. Yeah, I just, so, there's a, I like just there's a bunch of material I haven't seen yet, so. Uh, um, yes, because that's what I've been working on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so I can, uh, just just tell me real quickly, Nick, how do I, do I just add it here? Just do file add, add, add or how do I make it available to everybody? <clears throat> uh... You would I think everybody has it. Has it? No, the PowerPoint you have the one from the town hall. Oh, okay, yeah, but not the most recent one. And I hate to keep sending it out to people. It's getting bigger and bigger, and it's like you know, seventeen or twenty meg. Well, just make just make a, a a separate little thing, and then just hit share and share it with all of us, and then because you can make an a just just update it to the current one. Oh, okay. So okay, and I'll then. 
Okay. And just so do that and and just copy it in as a as a it can be a PDF or it can be a PowerPoint file, and okay. then just hit share. Okay. And then yeah. and that's up in the right corner. Yeah, and you you okay. will be there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, the same thing as Snick did. Okay, cool. Well, I'll do that. Great. Thanks. You bet. Okay, so Nick, why don't you talk us through your thoughts on that? Okay, um, so I basically just kind of started us off with uh, some scenario um, fielding kind of uh, general what if situation uh, to kind of paint the picture for people that aren't aware of what's what happens. Um, and uh, I was trying to not really lead one way or the other with it, but I think I came off as leading in support of us regardless. <laughs> but um, yeah, just really tr was trying to paint a, a very clear picture of what it's like, what our options are um, when there's uh, no ferry. And um and yeah, and, and what kind of challenges you would face uh, in that kind of scenario. Uh, and then I, I just copied and pasted uh, Mary's uh, account that she posted um, to give uh, kind of a firsthand uh, experience, which dives into the emergency or urgent response scenarios that uh, take place when, when the ferry's out of service. I was trying my best to not to throw the ferry under the bus with this. Um, mm -hmm. That is, you know, kind of what pre preempted us to uh, pursue a public dock, but it's not entirely the the main point. I didn't want to just put the ferry on blast. So I yeah, think that and way, I don't want to either. I think that's real important. Yeah, and I think. That, Having your example uh, publicized, it it just shows that that is a, a real possibility. That's something that does take place out here and kind of puts the reader into uh, your shoes and hopefully helps them to kind of think about, oh, well, what if that happened to me or to my loved one? Um, because, you know, everybody that lives out here knows that this this takes place uh, all the time. Um, mm -hmm. So and then uh, I, I figure on the back side of the document, we can maybe kind of give a, a little outline of what we envision, um, you know, the location, um, the type of uh, structure that we're looking to do, um, maybe our resources that would help us with completing it. Um, you know, I don't want people to get this and automatically think, well, no, I'm not going to vote for that because that means I'm going to have to pay more in taxes or no, I'm not going to vote for that because, you know, you haven't considered a location that's suitable or any of that kind of stuff. So kind of give our like maybe five key points to the design, the location, the funding, uh, the benefit to the community. Um, uh, and, and yeah, and maybe economic uh, impact uh, for the community. Um, have, haven't really uh, been able to come up with too much to add to that. I thought some graphics would be nice too. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's kind of the, the gist of it there. And are we going to do an email blast with this? How does it work? This uh, is going to be in the mail. Oh, yeah. In the mail. Okay. Okay. The plan is that Leica's board has oh, approved right. yeah, that they not. will support us with the cost of the printing and the mailing. Okay, yeah. 
Right, and our hopes were to have like a one page thing and then um, a then a like a, a postcard that it, it, that includes like a postcard that can be like prepaid to return return prepaid postcard mm -hmm. and then that would just have the survey on it and so it would be like are you in support of the public doc are you not support of the public doc and maybe um a space for them to write a comment or reason why yeah yeah that's good yeah um but that's and that's kind of what that's kind of what we were envisioning and then um, have a deadline to have them returned by, I don't know, do we need it by the 10th? <laughs> um, yeah, that's possible. Be nice, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I think that's, I don't think that's realistic. And I don't, I'm not, we can, you can tell the commissioners what the results were without, um, I don't think you have to wait to send the presentation to the commissioners until you have the, results of that yeah because mm -hmm. logistically there's still a few gotchas on this so are we planning we're going to use the is it the tome that has everybody's address uh yes we have um it would be um i think we can use um like as nonprofit organization um they can mail it on behalf of of this because it is it's a community survey and we're just asking the question yes or no we're not you know we're we're putting the reasons why we think it's important but um we're not putting you know like we don't have two sides of an argument got it but um how but we'd have to know how many residents because you have to have a card for each resident right? um it would go it would go through it would go out for the entire island so every address on the island including the p.o boxes would receive it just like the tome is mailed out so that's one vote per household yep do you think that'll be a problem i don't know um it, 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 each household would receive one if you would like to pick up another ballot. I guess you could you could fill it out at in person at the Islander or something. Oh, we, uh, yeah. Hmm. Or how many yes or no in your household? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Just. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do it with Number tally of people in your household. Okay, how many support and how many don't support? And we, because I'm a little, <laughs> I don't want to sound like conspiracy theory. I would really prefer not to get, you know, 3,000 responses, mm. <laughs> right? <laughs> Pretty sure we should be getting, I mean, even that no more than 900, right? So I wonder how you manage for that. And I think that's a, a good one because if you get a house, <laughs> people in your household, like 17 of us, <laughs> we're all against it. We're like, Really, there's people there. Um, so well, again, I think an that's example a, of that. Multiple that? family members, legacy home. Yeah, uh, there's could be. a lot of family could members be. involved there. So there could be there could be 12, 14. It could be, but I'm thinking we shouldn't get back 20 of those or 30 or 40 or 50 or something of yeah. people who say there's 17 people in the house. Yeah. Out of nine, I mean, we should be getting a number that is. Let's just see. It shouldn't exceed. <laughs> no, well, if, if, a if there's a thousand people, if there's a thousand people on the island, um, if we get a hundred back, it'll be a good response. <laughs> that's what I figured. Yeah. But but it's still um, I wonder how how sort of how you manage it. So I think that's a great one. Number of people in the household, a uh, number of votes, and I don't know. Can you vote for all your kids. I'm I'm not worried about that. I just was. Um, kind of trying to think how you present it so that people feel as if they did get a vote, but that you don't have a, I'm afraid if it says pick up ballots and just return them, that'll be a problem. 
So, um, cool. Um, so we, but we have to, by we, I'm looking at five of us and, <laughs> and our dogs or something to help us. We need to stuff the envelopes, right? Um, I think we can just uh, pay to have them stuff that that's going to have to be like how much how much we can afford to do like has gotten a, they received a very generous donation this year um from a person um so we have we're the organization is doing fine right now okay. so i i i think if i think if we can do it i don't know like 300 to 500 dollars i think we'll be okay i can't you know i can't i i i think that i think that it's it it is a like an initiative and so and they they are trying to be as supportive of of their committees as possible Okay. So. Okay. So what we need are the now we just need the the bullet points, um, the FAQs or whatever we want to the subset of what's important for people to know before they vote. Frequently asked question: Is this going to be a Maria overnight? No. That's one that's got to be addressed. Yeah, you know, we should be able to pull these bullets right out of our presentation, right? Yeah. yeah, well, I think some of the FAQs, we could probably put some of the ones that Ed Scott threw in. Mm -hmm. um, some of the things that Lisa and Stuart threw in, some of the things that people asked at the, at the, at the meeting. Um, I kept, I had the meeting, meeting notes here. Who will have control over facility, Whatcom County Parks? Right. Uh, Who would have insurance, Whatcom County Parks? Uh oh. The what about parking? That's I mean how many if I, I think we're I, I guess the question is how many um addressing neighbors' concerns. Uh, would the walk would the dock work during the winter storm months? That's one. So what's in that? Let's just start with one so we can see what it looks like. Just say be available. I would just say year round, right? And I think um, the committee is recommending a uh, committee is recommending a dock that could be lifted out of the water. To protect it, <laughs> I think I, I do agree. It's probably best to try to see, take something directly from the presentation where possible. Mm -hmm. oh. um, yeah. I guess that's uh, a little enthusiastic. Um, what did you say? 
uh, at least one section of floating dock. Um, yeah, I think quickly deployed. Weather like permitting. Uh, I guess floating, it's, it's more than floating, it's not retractable. What's the other word for lift up and down? Is it called retractable, Chris? No. It's called um, uh, raceable. <laughs> removable? No, you don't want to say removable because that yeah. means they're thinking it's going to be on the beach. Um, uh, it could be, it, it, it would be like uh, hoistable or, hoistable. you know. Uh, Is that a viable word? I don't know. <laughs> somebody else do a thesaurus check on hoistable. Well, <laughs> All words are made up by somebody. So yes, it's a word, whether it's proper or not. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so I can't think of a, a word right now either. Okay, well, we'll come back. All right. Uh, let's see, would the dock be available year round? Uh, what was, uh, so we thought that, um, uh, uh, would it be, uh, the first question we think people ask is really about, can you, would it support overnight stays? Mm hmm Should these answers be yes and no? Like, no, this would be for short-term docking, two, three hours only. Would the dock be available year-round? Yes, there will be a deployable section. We, <laughs> we, okay, the thing, the thing is, well, I mean, the bottom line is, on any of these answers, we don't know. Yeah, well, the That's pier- We do know this one. What? The that, pier could be open year-round. Yeah, but- but but we, we do know the answer to this one. It's a it's a short term use only, two to three hours, right? Mm -hmm. well, I say the dock will be envisioned, but we the committee can't say no, absolutely flat out no. Right? Well, certainly we can't say about the design, right? Because that's but uh, intended for. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, that's good. Short term usage only. Except Short term loading yeah. and unloading. Or... Why don't we say similar to other docks in San Juan Islands or something like that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. With an S. <laughs> Uh, let's see. So we're still trying to keep it to one page. So yeah, I think something like five-ish probably. Okay, what else? Um, I don't know that I'm suggesting that we at least one section. Um, I, I, like I say, I think, again, we, we say we envision, we envision. Mm -hmm. we, we envision a peer Oh, a, P, uh, a peer, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And a gangway with at least one section of elevatable. Mm -hmm. Elevatable. Elevatable. I, uh... <laughs> uh, oh. It's almost a word. 
It's almost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With a raisable, raisable yeah. <laughs> and lowerable. Um, <laughs> one section of dock that can be raised and lowered year round. Perfect. <laughs> Weather permitting. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because, <laughs> yeah, because, and, you know, and we can leave the dock, <clears throat> you know, you can leave the dock down. Yeah. Um, That's it. Yes. Okay. There we go. Okay. Yeah, they and I get, say can be raised in periods of inclement weather. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Well, the weather permitting, I think, covers that, right? Yeah. So if it's a storm coming, even in the yeah, summer. Yeah, that can be raised out of the water to pr be protected. Yeah. Yeah, let's leave it. Let's leave it at that. Yeah, that. I think that yeah. sums up the, we don't want too long a response. Yeah. Mm hmm Let's see. Um, so enforcement of parking came up. Uh, I'm not parking of docking. Um, how to fund? How would the? I think that would probably be the next question. How would the project be funded? Whoops. So we are seeking. We would like to work with the Whatcom County Park and Rec Department and help seek grant money, you know, to work together to locate and Did we just categorically state there, there is no uh, plan to increase property tax or? Um, <sighs> is it is is tax levy the same as increased? Yeah, mm -hmm. I think that's fair, yeah. Okay, so there's no plan to ask for a task tax levy plus a tax levy. On Lummi Islanders or? Yeah. Secure grant money, is that what you meant to say? To see. <laughs> It's probably seek. I think I'm going to seek. Oh, seek. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I like uh, that. That works. Yeah. Yeah, you have seek. All right. Mm -hmm. Some person thinks that. Um, it, it, you know, we might, we might, if. I don't. Maybe we could, maybe that, you know, there could be a foundation set up or something to collect money from Islanders that wanted to contribute to it. But, because well, that, was, that was what went over better um, when they were looking at building the community center, mm -hmm. it was, strongly put down and 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 it and they didn't want to form a park and rec district which would which would tax everybody mm -hmm. um they people felt really felt that they could raise the two million dollars um for the gathering place by getting commitments from people on the island that that felt it was that was the way they wanted to go and they actually did it so 
You could say it's we're not, exploring public-private partnerships. We'll leave it at that. Yeah. Right. Um, public or private. Well, yeah. I mean, if I gave you money, I, you could call it grant. That's a good way to put it. I like that, Dave. Mm -hmm. Does that sound okay to you, Chris? Yeah, it sounds wonderful. I would say, I might say private partnerships and grant money. Uh, partnerships and grant. Yeah, they're good. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Okay. Um, okay, so that's three, that's three questions. Yeah. So question about the enforcing um, and then the aware, where would the dock be built? I think we should probably put that. Um, mm -hmm. um, proposed site. Is to <laughs> should say the proposed plan. I love these like these buzzwords we had right to enhance the Lummy Island Beach Access Waterfront Park. Enhance. I mean, I hate to say this, Steve, <laughs> but to take a little platform with a picnic table on it and turn it into a three four million dollar pocket, probably was a big enhancement. <laughs> and <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, that's that's good wordsmithing. <laughs> well, I have a whole bunch of other words I have to get in here. So I think, let's see, uh, if the existing Lummi Island, it's called Access Beach. Beach Access, I think, right? Beach Access. Beach Park. There you go. Beach Access Park in front of Beach Shore Cafe. Yeah. This property, and then I would say this property is owned by, in case people don't realize it, which they might not. And I, I don't feel like going into the long uh, title lands are owned by yeah, or whatever, but we, no, uh, this anyway. property is owned by Whatcom <laughs> County Parks. Yeah, we'll give people the link to look up the whole presentation. Uh, listen to the Zoom. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four. Um, so let's see the other things that came up. Um, Security and enforcement. Security, yeah. Not that we have an answer for that, Nick, unless you've thought of one in the meantime. Uh, Terry has uh, made mention to me multiple times now that they provide security cameras on all of their properties now. Okay. So they are monitoring all of their parks via security cameras. Oh, interesting. And then we won't go with the, and what do you do if there's somebody over there run, you know, but okay. Um, how would it says how would um, enforce? Force? I had a, I had a, a, a flash went through my brain. I don't know if this is a good flash or not, but um, if I guess if if the dock was pulled up out of the water every night, <laughs> On a and then and then, you know, <laughs> uh, this dock this dock will be lifted out of the water at so you know you one hour after sunset and will be. Put back be, down yeah. one hour before sunrise. <laughs> you will be able to re, re, uh, recover your dinghy unless you can jump very high. Uh, you will be recovering your dinghy uh, in the morning. <laughs> oh my heavens, that is hilarious. That would no. control the use of, um, yeah. of over 
over docking. Okay. Um, so it's monitors, monitors um, their uh, parks by a remote. I mean, I feel like um, uh, And I'd we say would have signage. Uh huh. Maybe instead of short short term stays, um, how would uh, how would usage and security be enforced? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's good. You be managed, yeah. Because there's also the people that you, might traipse around the neighbor's property, right? Yeah. Uh, how would um, yeah, the good thing about boats is they have bow registration numbers so they can be tracked uh, <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. and people can be fined. <laughs> how would usage and security be handled? Dock usage. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's just how people. OK. Um, how about that? Yeah. Um, yep. Did you want to add a question about parking? And well, we we definitely that's just going to be some mad guesswork right now because we honestly don't have any idea about parking, do we? Well, I mean, we, well, I guess we don't know for sure, right? But we, I mean, yeah, I think we probably would need to, you know, work out an agreement with the with the ferry overflow with Public Works. Yeah. If the county I guess someone should talk to them. Or maybe our public private partnership could work with the beach store people. I don't see a huge need for parking a lot of vehicles here. I see more, you know, my use case would be I might like to pull up to the dock and pick up some passengers. Mm -hmm. And then, <laughs> you know, that can't scrabble over the beach or what have you. And, uh, I don't see it as a big problem, but I know some people raise the concern. Well, in the yeah, problem well, is if people are like, yeah, I guess, you know, Jim said, well, suppose you've got a kayak operator who's going to come over there with their trailer with uh, 10 kayaks on it. And they're going to unload mm -hmm. the 10 kayaks and walk down and launch them and get their group, you know, you know, so and and so I said, yeah, that could uh, really block traffic <laughs> around that corner. Is that so a yeah. use case on Lummi Island, ten kayaks. <laughs> well, I see a guy putting a kayak on the roof of his car and bringing it down. I mean, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I think no, that that's Jim. Just you know, because because when. I was responding to Ed's thing. I was just trying to think of, well, yeah, I can see how he could be concerned about that. And well, we can, yeah, you can create all kinds of scenarios, right? But mm -hmm. and, and, and people can abuse the situation. But mm -hmm. I think the reality is we're not talking about a huge parking problem here. Yeah. Uh, that's just my perspective. I could be wrong and we'll have to build a parking garage across the street. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, it's the same, it's one sort of the same questions, pedestrian safety. And I think we certainly say we are requesting, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, improved, which is true for today anyway, even without this dock, it's, mm -hmm. it's a place to walk. Mm, yeah. yeah. Um, so we could put that one here or um, uh, about the neighbors. Yeah. And especially that would be another incentive to create better better access for the school kids to walk to the library from school after school yeah and also from chris do they still walk to the bus not walk to the dock or do they get bus to the dock now bus they get bus yeah okay um
so. What about the neighbors? So there's that or pedestrian safety, whichever one you guys think. The majority of neighbors have been in favor. Um, so probably parking and the pedestrian issue is a good couple to bring up, right? Okay. Um, or, you know, oh, I don't know. We're, we're going to point them to the website, right? Where a yeah. lot of this material is. Right. So maybe just the heavy hitters, right? Where yeah, I think it? just the heavy what hitters. Who's going to pay for it? <laughs> yep. Because we can go on and on. Yeah, yeah right. We could, we could, we could. I think. I wonder if we say, um, yes, <laughs> okay. Just spell that it's non marina. For those of you who don't want to read anything else, when you read that one sentence, yeah, okay, well, how about that? We'll just tell them, yes, um, more questions. I, I like it a lot. You can find the full presentation on, and I, I guess I have to get, um, if this is going to be mailing, we have to have one of those short, I think uh, Alan might be able to give us one of those short, or I guess he gives, he gives a menu. No, the shorts you have to have in a link. You have to just go mm. um, our Lummy Island dot org. And I think he does. It's on the. Um, I think he. It's, Community projects or. Is that what it is? Can, mm -hmm. you, can somebody look it up? Because I have uh, to switch. Yeah, I'm looking for something. Uh, yeah, it's under communities, communities and research. Communities and research. Yeah. Okay. And then. <clears throat> Then do they have to go to public doc? Yeah, Lummi Island Advisory Public Doc. It's too long. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. Well, I know, but what are you going to say? You know, we can have Alan put a link to just a, a direct link to the page, of the front page. Just go just in the public doc survey. Click here for more information. Yeah, for a while. This is, this is a one. I mean, this is only going to go out for two. It's weeks. going to be about a month. Yeah. So we can just have put just just go rlemmyisland.org homepage. Okay, let's do that. So yeah. I would, yeah, just. Uh, you mean what do we want to call the Zoom recording, the public meeting? Um, the link to replay the Zoom recording for the this meeting. The town hall Zoom recording is also here. Okay, the town hall Zoom recording. The town hall Zoom recording that can also be found here. Yeah. Here. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, and, and then just suggest reordering these questions from oh high to low. <laughs> I'm sorry, from what high to a high priority to lower? Like, where is it? Who's paying for it? Oh, uh, here. Is that how you think of the world? Okay. <laughs> I think the how paying for it is a big one. Oh, but okay. Yeah. I thought the very first question was always is there overnight. <laughs> And then maybe would it be around, or oh, where is it? Oh, okay. Uh, how about that? Uh, Hang on. 
the full presentation, oh, hand out, oh, 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 from the town hall. That's good. Oops. Okay, and then, so if we say use, are you in support? I use the enclosed. Uh, stamped, what's it called? Self uh, stamped. Posted prepaid. Okay. Mm -hmm. Express your opinion to vote and comment. Okay. Please. Slightly. What's that? <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. Please. Yeah, we really, we really appreciate the input. We got to make sure yeah. we're seeking it. We appreciate it. There we go. Mm -hmm. We don't want to waste time. Mm -hmm. Okay. So maybe uh, hear from you and hear your opinion. Here's your opinion. Please use the link. Yes. Yeah, Is using enclosed posters paid to vote. About please return the enclosed to paid posters. Oh, okay. Right away. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, I'm sorry, what was that? Please, please complete and return. Yesterday. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, deadline, due date, a closing date is, what do we, get? I mean. We'll take it whenever we get it. Yeah. Still get get it. Right. So do you want to put a date or just. Well, we're presenting on the 17th of March. I think it would be good to have it before that. Mm -hmm. Um. So we probably won't get it by the 10th. I think that would, but you could, you could do like deadline for return is March 14th. <laughs> that would, if we, if it went out and was in people's hands on the 1st of March, um, then have it returned by the 14th, I think is reasonable. Yeah. Uh, I'll say preferred deadline just because people may be away and all that. How about that? If you want your vote to count, you have to have an in by. If you want your vote to count, I like it, yeah. <laughs> Votes will be tallied on March 14th. The current tally is yes. <laughs> 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 so. Let your voice be heard. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and we might actually do like, um, I don't know if, if it would be good to have like a running, you know, so like today we've received this many, we might be able to just put up on the website Oh, you yeah. know, number of number of ballots returned, da da da, is yours there or something? Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. Yeah. Maybe we can post on next door reminders or something, right? Yeah, yeah. it's possible. We we did not use the Islander sign for the 
um, mm -hmm. uh, town meeting, but maybe we could ask uh, if he would would um, let us use the sign for for this. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy to pay for it if he needs the charge. I'm happy to pay for. Uh, yeah. Please send yeah. in your cards for the public doc vote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We... <laughs> yeah. Okay. Awesome. I'll, I'll just charge Dave more when I work on his boat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fix my outboard, Chris. <laughs> so this seemed this seemed to work well. So I'll go ahead. I, I started playing a little bit with a business survey. So I'll go ahead and put that up so you guys can. I, I don't, don't have too many questions. I have more of the format of it because I'm not a business person myself. So I don't know. Oh, and the word dinghy. It's, there's an H there. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> um, and. Uh, <laughs> I had one question about this. I like I like what you wrote, uh, Nick. I think it's great. Uh, the only thing that caused me a slight pause was the mention of the scenic estates dock. Yeah. Uh, I think it's dock. Do if, if I think I thought that was only for you, you have to be a resident, don't you? Yeah, yeah. I didn't want to give people the impression. Some people might say, "Well, if there's a dock at scenic estates, why?" Right. Do you need? right? Do, I think it's um, residents. Yeah, that's why I said May. Yeah, no. I got it. I, I think I'll say scenic estate but, residents. Yeah, that's probably a, a good way to put it, right? And it's scenic but, estates. And I think I, I think anybody could dock there. You just can't stay overnight unless you're a scenic. I don't know, actually. I'd have to look at the bylaws. I, I looked at it and commission. I think the only we got a message back from Tim about it. And it was that residents is for residents, but that they were going to put in an explicit emergency use clause. But I'm I'm yeah. not sure it was residents only. Yeah, that's okay. kind of that's what I've always understood it to be. Yeah. And the docks are going in early this year since our dry dock is earlier. This oh, year. right. Oh, good. <laughs> I was just informed of that, and that was the hint to get the work that I'm supposed to do. Oh, hint. <laughs> okay. That's great. Yeah, I flip flopped on whether or not to include scenic estates for some time and then decided that it. It should be posted or listed. Yeah, well, people, it's one of the things we evaluated and the biggest thing we came away with was, first of all, yeah, it's not year round. And second, that it was only for, um, our understanding was it was only for the residents, um, yeah. unless it was a, a safe harbor issue. Um, yeah. So. The fire or an emergency. And they're willing to let the fire boat or an emergency boat take people out of there. That's right. I'm just going to see if I can squish this in a little bit here. A little bit of space. Um, yeah, so that's that. That's why, um, because I think I, I do agree that it's a, just a little bit of a concern because the people originally, it's just like Aston, people who said, well, why don't you yeah. use Aston? But the yeah. point is, listen to our presentation and you'll understand that that's not mm -hmm. a viable yeah. option. Okay. Try. I just have a look at this real quick. I'm very aware of these times in the place for private. I think we were saving people without needing to go through without needing to, I think we'll say without needing to put in quotes. There we go. I do think that's a <laughs> Sometimes a gra gra grandma. Hey, Lane, that's in quotes. You're changing Mary's words. Oh, I know. You can, I you can change my words all you want. And, <laughs> permission. <laughs> yeah, and I think you need to include in there that it's a it's a five hour. You know, at at the fastest, it they they can do it in oh, five okay. hours. Uh, take um, uh, up at least five hours. Yeah. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. This is looking good, guys. Yeah, yeah. excellent. I think that was a, that was huge. I mean, we really need to get that yeah. out. Yeah. That and was still good. only two pages, so perfect. 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 Mm -hmm. Keep trying to hit the save button, but it's saving automatically. Okay. It's awesome. always saving. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. So I'll, I'll put the PowerPoint up here so you guys can read through it and be thinking about it, and I'll put the um, initial thoughts on on. <clears throat> question about the um, businesses. And then we have a mission statement to, um, to um, start collecting information. Do you have your hand raised, Nick? No. Uh, <laughs> it looks like Nick. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> um, We're just we hanging will, out. I'm hanging out over here. We will all make a commitment to start writing down all the companies that come to the island and start thinking about. I think I think we've got some really good ideas about collecting some of those statistics. It'd be easy to get together and you know go do some nose counting. Sure. Well, so and so what's the next step with this survey? Then what has to happen next? Um, we need to have it in a um a final format so do we and decide like we want to put include photos oh. um do we want to print it in color or black and white um that's that's kind of the stuff i and i think we need to come up with a layout for it if we're going to include photos like you know doing the what's that called text wrapping and you know that stuff. I'm. I'm. That's so not my out. thing. I'm not a desktop publisher. <laughs> Alan could probably help with that. That's what PowerPoint is for. Can we just put that in Alan's? <laughs> yeah, I think we've got it. Alan. We'll let you run with it. You come up with whatever you want to do. Here's the information we want conveyed. Other yeah. than that, if you want to add pictures, do whatever your flair is. Okay. That would really help us. Yeah. 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 I think we've got the black and white that we want. Yep. And uh, add some flash to it if if that's necessary or if it's doable. But otherwise, I mean, I'm happy with that just going out. You just send it. Yeah. Okay. And um, the survey, uh, the the survey card. So we would have. Oh yeah. Yes, I'm in favor of a public dock on Lummi Island. No, I am not in favor of a public dock on Lummi Island. Um, and then a lot, several lines for comment. Yeah, and I think it's number of household in favor of number of in household opposed to. Okay. Do we want to have their name on there? Maybe optional. Mm. I mean, it might be nice to follow up with some people that have concerns. I don't. I don't know. I don't want to expand this too much, but. Uh. I don't think we have the time to expand it too much. Um, Maybe we could have name optional. May we contact you to follow up? I don't know. Something. Would think. you like us to contact you to follow? If you'd like us to contact you to follow up, leave a name and a phone number or an email address. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Yeah. Then we can try and convince them. Uh, I mean, it's, okay. yeah, it's possible that somebody who just is coming out of left field who had no idea and is, you know, deeply puzzled and um, and could become a super strong advocate. That's always my attitude. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's a good idea. Um, okay. Uh, Dave, can you just wordsmith, uh, like, can you make like a, a survey response form? Sure. Yeah. Okay. I'll let you do that. I can put the words down. Somebody can. Well, I'll try and format it too. <laughs> yeah. Just, just, yeah. Just, just make it as easy as possible. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because you, you're, you're a good, a good worder. I'm not. <laughs> so, okay. Dave <laughs> Mary, wordsmith extraordinaire. I think, I think on your, yeah. I think you maybe have a new epitaph, which is, he was a good worder. <laughs> my epitaph let me share this is it sounded like a good idea at the time <laughs> that goes on my tombstone my friends <laughs> i guess i appreciate that now i gotta do some work 
No, it, it should just be, and, and that's the only question that we really want to ask, right? Yeah, yeah. Do you support the dog? Yes, no, may we contact you? <laughs> or would you like us to contact you? Yeah. yeah. Or something, yeah, or. To follow up, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, good progress, good <laughs> progress. Okay, Lane. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You bet. Thank you. Thank you all. Wonderful work. Okay. Oh, Lane, we didn't go through the other part thing, but that's okay. Oh, yeah. The, yeah. We can do that, the business survey next week. Yes, I'll go ahead and post it. Like. Uh, oh, good. Okay. So we can share. You can look at it ahead of time and then throw out some ideas. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. Yay. Awesome. All right. All right. See you next right. week. Good night, all. Thank okay. you.